Under the Site and Utility section of Reopt Lite, we can customize values to best fit our desired outcomes. Review the Overview module for guidance on the required fields in this section, which are marked by asterisks, or follow along to enter more specific optional information. If you choose to enter a net metering system size limit, you can do so in the available box. The default, a net metering system size limit of 0 kilowatts, indicates that net metering is not available at the site. You can also add a wholesale rate for electricity exports exceeding net metering, or for sites where net metering is not available. For more information about how Reopt Light models net metering and wholesale rates, click on the blue tooltips next to the inputs and check out the user manual. You may also choose to model a custom utility rate by checking the box next to Use Custom Electricity Rate and then toggling Annual, Monthly, or Detailed based on the level of detail with which you'd like to model your site's rate. For the annual custom rate, you can enter a dollars per kilowatt hour energy charge that will apply to all electricity purchases throughout the year. The dollars per kilowatt demand charge will apply to the monthly peak demand each month of the year. Similarly, for the monthly custom rate, you can enter the dollars per kilowatt hour energy charge and the dollars per kilowatt demand charge that will apply each month but can vary throughout the year. For a detailed custom rate, you must be logged in to Reopt Light, as custom rates are saved to your account. Note that custom rates should be developed before entering your other site inputs to avoid losing your progress. To start building a detailed custom utility rate, choose a name and optionally a description for the rate you're developing. If you'd like, you can start with and then modify an existing URDB rate by checking Edit an Existing Utilities Rate. Entering the existing rate's location, this does not need to be the same location as your site, selecting the electricity rate from the dropdown, and clicking Populate Form with Existing Rate. You can then view and modify the energy charges and demand charges as desired. For our purposes, let's start with a default custom rate. The energy and demand charge structures can incorporate time of use and tiered rate components. First, we'll look at the time of use component of energy charges. The weekday schedule shows a table of months and hours and identifies the period in which each weekday month hour falls. For example, in January through April and October through December, electricity purchases cost a flat dollars per kilowatt hour rate throughout all hours of the day, indicated by period two. Looking at the corresponding table of charges, we see that electricity costs eight cents per kilowatt hour during all hours of period two. However, in May through September, the cost of electricity increases during the hours of 10 a.m. through 7 p.m. Note that the hour listed in the schedule indicates the hour starting at that time, so the last hour of this increased electricity charge starts at 6 p.m. and ends at 7 p.m. Now let's see what electricity costs during this midday period during the summer months. Looking at the table summarizing rates, we see there are two tiers in period one. The first 100 kilowatt hours each month will be charged at the period one, tier one rate of 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Any electricity purchased during these hours beyond 100 kilowatt hours will be charged the period one, tier two rate of 12 cents per kilowatt hour. You can modify the energy charges and maximum energy purchases for each period and tier in the table summarizing energy charges rate periods. You can also add tiers, add rate periods, and delete tiers and rate periods. To change the time of use periods on the schedule, highlight a range of month hours, select the desired period from the drop-down list, and add to schedule. If you scroll a bit, you'll see there's also a weekend schedule for energy charges. The periods listed in this table correspond to the same table of energy charges rate periods that we've been working from and work the same way. This table allows for a different rate schedule on weekdays and weekends. If we continue scrolling, we'll see a very similar table for the demand charges schedule. Like energy charges, demand charges can also include time of use and tiered structures. Time of use demand charges are applied to the peak monthly demand that occurs during the defined set of hours that month. As modeled in the defaults, the monthly demand charge varies by month but does not depend on the timing of the peak. Let's look at adding a time of use demand charge to the hours of 8 a.m. through 6 p.m. for the months of May through September. During this period, let's set the time of use demand charge to $18 per kilowatt. 
In this situation, period one's demand charge, $15 per kilowatt, would apply to the peak demand that occurs between 6 p.m. and 8 a.m. each month of the summer. Period three's demand charge, $18 per kilowatt, would apply to the peak demand that occurs between the midday hours of 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. during each month of the summer. If your site has a tiered demand rate, you can add tiers to the demand charges rate periods table. What we've done here is set a period two tier one maximum demand of 100 kilowatts. The first 100 kilowatts of peak demand will be charged at $12 per kilowatt, and any additional kilowatts of peak demand exceeding 100 kilowatts will be charged at $10 per kilowatt. So, if the peak demand for our winter month was 150 kilowatts, that month's demand charge would be 100 kilowatts multiplied by $12 per kilowatt, plus 50 kilowatts multiplied by $10 per kilowatt. As with the energy charges, demand charges can have a different weekend schedule than the weekday schedule. Once you've finished setting up your custom rate, click Create New Custom Rate. This saves the rate to your custom rate database. Now, if we go to the Reopt Evaluation page, we can select our custom rate from the drop-down list and proceed with our analysis.